See, Mick, we got three types of problem. One, 500 kilos of heroin arrives in a freighter. Two, Mr and Mrs Yuppie have got a couple of dope plants on the balcony. And three, the kids like dancing all night, so they take some chemicals to help them through till dawn. Well, one's a huge international problem. Two, there. Yeah. Three, that's a real worry. The kids create a demand, so there'll always be somebody there to manufacture it for them. <laughs> you want some sugar in that, mate? Yeah. <laughs> Two, mate. Johnny, grab a couple of sugars to the rescue copper, will you? OK. So, what you got for us? I've got three dead school kids, Ted. And I saw the pathology report. Last week, eh? Here we are. Glassel, Maggie. 0.13% alcohol plus 1.5 milligrams per litre methylamphetamine. Peters Jason, 0.16 alcohol, 2 milligrams per litre dexamphetamine, etc., etc. These kids were feeling no pain. A little bit out your way, aren't you? Sam goes to the same school. Does he now? And what's he got to say about all this? Johnny, I want you to listen in on this. Steve McClintock, Johnny Wallace. Hey, Johnny. Good day. Remember that time I told you about, the bank hold up in Coogee? This is the guy. Pray continue. Well, Ted, I reckon there's a chemical factory the size of the bloody opera house around here somewhere. So why don't we put a bomb on it, huh? Yeah, why don't we? Well, it's like this, Mickey. The amount of speed ingested by those kids and about 10,000 others like them could be manufactured on this desk and they keep moving. We've been on this case for... Johnny? Four months. Four months. Look, I'll tell you what. Why don't you have a read through Johnny's files? Then, after that, anything you might turn up, we'd really appreciate it, mate. No, nothing. Johnny's busy walking up dead ends. What about you? No. What about that kid you were going to do some deal with? No, nah, he's no good. A bit tougher than you figured, eh? See you later, then. G'day, guys. G'day. G'day, man. OK, listen up. She's down there and just round the corner. Number 53. Johnny, you and Barry go over the fence. I want you coming in from the back. OK. It's good to have you along officially at last, Mickey. What do you say we go in the front door? It'll be just like old times. Be my pleasure. Yanni, isn't it? You go with those guys. Johnny, I want to know when you're in position by that fence. Let's go. Give you a minute to get to the back door, then go. As soon as Mickey. Hang on. Hold it, boys. What the hell? What's going on? You stay put, Joe. Get out. Stay where you are, guys. Don't move till I tell you. Mickey, who the hell's that? That's George Glass. That's the guy I was telling you about. I took his shotgun off him. How did he find this place? Well, you found it, didn't you? Uh -huh. 
Mr. Glassell. Get out of here. Get out. Give me the gun. Now go. Put the gun on the bench, sir, and step away from it. Go upstairs or I kill him now. Put the gun down, sir. Get out of here. Go on. Get out. Get out. Johnny, get on to state protection. Tell him it's urgent and take him with you. Okay, we wait. Let me talk to him. I can get through to Ted, I know. Mickey, you get back here! 